hello hello let's get straight into it so if you pop open a web browser and in the url bar you need to type in www.google.com forward slash trends forward slash explore and that is going to open up the google trends dashboard we're not interested in google results so if you click on the filter and select youtube results and then we're going to filter the date for all searches in the last 30 days here the dashboard is providing us with everything that's been searched for on youtube in the last 30 days that number is not search volume but a mark out of 100 or a percentage of general web traffic that that query is generating it is broken up by the top searches and rising searches rising searches are the most recent searches that are being made we're now going to run a hypothetical example as if we were actually doing some keyword research. So we're going to filter by the autos and vehicles channel and pretend that we're doing some research for a video for a fake auto channel. Here you can see the top results and if you click on rising, well, these are not particularly relevant to us. So if we go back to top, we're going to click on BMW and I can get some more related keywords to BMW. Here we have the top results for BMW and rising the top result is BMW 2 series and that's a safe bet for me to create a video around. If you're having a dilemma of what secondary keywords to use in your titles, tags and description, you can do a quick comparison to compare their SEO value. To do this, we need to get rid of our original search term so we can X that and then I'm going to Add in two new terms, the first being sports car, and then the second, I think I'll go with supercar. The relative search traffic now is plotted on this graph. Uh, you can see that supercar absolutely trounces sports car. In fact, sports car returns virtually no search queries. Uh, we can also compare that to the category average and we can see that supercar consistently outperforms the category average and so it's a great secondary keyword to use in our titles descriptions and tags if you found this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and if you want to know more about how to use youtube trends for the benefit of your content click on the full article here or you may be interested in the video below about the wadsworth constant and how to optimize the start of your youtube videos